the identity of the fake Chainsaw Man has finally been revealed. Well, for the most part, but I'll get to that in a minute. Most importantly to me at least, because Denji is my favorite character of course, this man is straight up having an existential crisis in this chapter. This is one of those chapters where I feel like Fujimoto just simply cannot have Denji enjoy his life or have any sort of happiness for more than like a chapter because this guy's always being told what to do and never gets to do what he wants. This man just wants to be Chainsaw Man and he can't even have that. Especially since in the last chapter, Denji was given this impossible ultimatum of either living as Chainsaw Man and having Nayuta straight up get killed because of it, or live a normal life with Nayuta, but he can't ever become Chainsaw again, which we see in chapter 134 is a much bigger deal than we originally thought for Denji. I mean, in 133, it did seem like he was very distraught at the idea of not being able to ever be Chainsaw Man, as he straight up like demanded that he had his cake and eat it too, like be able to be Chainsaw Man and have Nayuta be safe and just just live a normal life or what he calls a normal life. But no, he couldn't have that and it turns out that Denji chose Nayuta's safety because in chapter 134 it starts out with Denji walking down the street as people are just kind of talking amongst themselves about the whole falling devil event, all the buildings being destroyed, all the people dying, and along with that all the protests and dismay surrounded around Chainsaw Man. Because we also saw in the previous chapter that there were many people that did not like the idea of Chainsaw Man just going out and about and doing what he wants, not ever having to pay up for all the damage that he does when he's fighting devils, and many people consider Chainsaw Man just a straight up devil, which makes sense because the general public doesn't really know of the existence of hybrids, so seeing somebody with chainsaws for arms and a head, jumping from building to building fighting devils, your first thought would probably be, oh that's a devil too, but of course Chainsaw Man has his supporters, so there's been a ton of protests and a ton of riots with people on both sides going at it with each other. Well as Denji walks down the street listening to all this conversation surrounding Chainsaw Man, he looks super depressed and down, much like he has most of part two but especially in this chapter and we actually find out why in a second because a little bit later he's at home hanging out with Nayuta and the dogs and he's straight up like blow drying Nayuta's hair I think that's pretty adorable just seeing them do like day-to-day -day normal life stuff I appreciate it almost as much as I do the action sequences Fujimoto's always been good at implementing those slice of life aspects to his works and it really shines in moments like this well Nayuta's watching tv and she notices that they're talking about the chainsaw man church again and that a bunch of brainwashed dangerous kids are joining it really seems like the church of chainsaw Chainsaw Man is for all the people that are like looking to hop on the next trend or delinquents, just young people that are looking to be reckless. Denji doesn't really pay any mind though because he actually tells her the church's days are numbered because Chainsaw Man isn't reappearing again. And Knights is a little confused much like many of us probably are because she says well why aren't you? And he says that he can't because she'll die if he does. So he's taking Yoshida's threat actually pretty seriously here because in the previous chapter you'd assume that he'd kind of like blow it off and like try to call his bluff or something and just turn into Chainsaw Man anyways, but it looks like he's actually taking it seriously. And then Denji elaborates on how he feels about all of this because he says, when he told me I can't be Chainsaw Man, it felt like I died inside, but then I thought about it and I'm pretty content with the life I have now. Nothing beats a normal life. And he doesn't have a very convincing face when he says this, so Nayuta kind of calls him out and says, do you really think that? And he says, yeah, I, I do think that. But then she doubles down and says, do you really think nothing beats a normal life? And he just says, I do. But right after that, he kind of just thinks to himself and says I, I do right so making it pretty obvious that he himself is not convinced that this is the right choice for him and we actually get to learn a little bit later how much being chainsaw man actually means to Denji but before that he's sitting on the toilet and he actually tries talking to Pochita which is the first time that his name gets mentioned in all of part two I think if he was mentioned in part two at some other point let me know in the comments below because I honestly can't remember right now but he says to Pochita for us this life is like heaven right but despite that it's like now I'm dreaming an even higher heaven we can be happy with what we've got, right Pochita? We don't need to keep fighting. And again, it looks like he's kind of trying to convince himself that this is the right move. Although he's right, this is the life that he was looking to live at the very beginning of the series. All he dreamed about was having a regular meal every day and eating jam on toast. But now that he's gotten a taste of the normal life and now knows that there's even better things out there, more things to strive for, he's not content with living a normal life anymore. He wants more than that. I mentioned this in my previous chapter review, but this all goes back to the moment in part one when Denji, Kobeni, and Kishibe are hiding in that room. After he sees all these people cheering him on on TV, this is when he kind of has that epiphany where he decides that he doesn't just want to live a normal life anymore. He wants to be Chainsaw Man, he wants to be famous, and he wants to be loved. Which I mean, more power to you man. I mean, strive for greatness, do everything that you want to do. I have nothing against Denji still wanting to be Chainsaw Man even though it might cost Nayu to her life. You can't blame the guy. Well, the depression carries until later on that night because he stays up late watching TV because he can't sleep 
sleep and he's just flipping through channels until he stumbles across a news broadcast that's covering the topic of the Chainsaw Man church. And we see that it's this older guy in Haruka kind of going back and forth where the older man says that these people are just running around playing devil hunters and many of them are kids so they can't imagine how worried their parents are that they're out putting themselves in danger and fighting a fight that isn't theirs. In his eyes they're pretty much treating the dangers of devils as a game. But Haruka comes back and says no we report this to the proper authorities we handle everything legitimately we take this very seriously and he also says that only those of us who have accepted chainsaw man's teachings work as devil hunters what's wrong with following one's sense of justice to save japanese citizens in an act of self-sacrifice so essentially what he's saying is that only those who follow the teachings of chainsaw man get to enter the church and you might be asking yourself what are you talking about the teachings of chainsaw man denji probably wouldn't even know what you're talking about either and he doesn't because we'll see that in a second but i also feel it's important whenever the word justice is mentioned because we have to remember the justice devil is still lingering out there and potentially offering support to Haruka here. Well the older guy just comes back at him and says like what is it with this teachings of chainsaw man crap? It's not as if he literally gave you these teachings himself. And that's true Denji never communicated with this chainsaw man church at any point yet. But very 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 surprisingly Haruka says he has. And then after that he says if you prefer I can let you hear chainsaw man speak for himself and Denji looks just about as shocked as we probably all did when he said this and funnily enough he kind of like turns around and walks towards the phone like expecting this phone call because since they're talking about calling Chainsaw Man he's assuming that he's about to be getting a phone call right now to hop on the show even the people hosting the show say what we can talk to Chainsaw Man no one mentioned that in the meeting and Denji's like yeah nobody told me either well unfortunately Denji doesn't get that phone call and they actually phone in via video message I think to this guy in a school uniform wearing a school hat having his face kind of shrunk routed saying greetings I am Chainsaw Man and it's not really confirmed yet but this very much looks like Segi which is the eye patch guy from the Devil Hunters Club. Many people theorize that he was the fake Chainsaw Man and Haruka was just kind of like this red herring and hey it turns out that they might be right but I also believe that there are multiple Chainsaw Men and he's the only one we've seen so far. I mean if he can become a fake Chainsaw Man then what's stopping anybody else from doing the same? Well the lines that this fake Chainsaw Man says next are actually very important because he's starts by saying I'm coming to you from the Chainsaw Man church. Yes the rumors are true my body is halfway between human and devil. I gained the power to turn into Chainsaw Man in a fateful encounter with the Justice Devil. And before we go on with the rest of what he says I think it's very important that he points out specifically that he gained the power to become Chainsaw Man during a fight with the Justice Devil. Because to me that's kind of the smoking gun indicating that it's actually the Justice Devil that gave him this power. Which makes perfect sense because a major theory that's been going on since we first saw the fake chainsaw man is that this is more than likely someone that has made a contract with the justice devil as we've seen in the previous two iterations of the justice devil making a contract with somebody that it can take on a different form it's always representative of that person's ideal version of justice and if a huge chainsaw man fan ever made a contract with the justice devil this would be their ideal form well he then says i fight to create a world without devils and denji can't take it at this point he just says wrong out loud and this wakes up Nayuta and he says I've never thought that stuff I don't fight for any reason I died a gazillion times and next thing I knew people were calling me chainsaw man on their own and this man is breaking down because he's straight up witnessing somebody steal his identity pretty much what's made him him to that point and it kind of raises an interesting question here does Denji make chainsaw man or does chainsaw man make Denji because in the beginning Pochita just wanted Denji to live a normal life and to show him his dreams and being able to become Chainsaw Man was just additional it wasn't intended to be the main purpose why Pochita fused with him but understandably over time after saving all these people getting all these fans and fame Denji slowly made Chainsaw Man become a part of him a part of his personality and now that's all being taken away from him so going forward I definitely see Denji just kind of questioning his own existence wondering who he even is or if he even has his own personality or self-existence all I know is that I hate seeing my boy Denji like this I just want him to live his best life but Fujimoto just does not let it happen 